Well, hey, welcome to 21 Days of Prayer. This week, we're talking about eyes to see. And if you're like me, our eyes are incredibly important. We usually just take advantage of them. We don't really think much about them until you get like dust or a rock or something dirt in your eye, and it can ruin your day. Your eyes are constantly crying. They're constantly trying to focus again. And I love to think through what would it be like to be in these Bible stories? What would it be like to be in the crowds and to witness these things with our very own eyes? And so as you get into scripture today, I want you to put yourself in this scenario. I want you to think about what you would do if you were there, who you would be beside, what would be going through your mind, all of those things. Because today we're going to be talking about the woman that was caught in adultery. I want you to think about some of the worst moments of your life when you were in the middle of your sin, because that's exactly where this woman's story is going to pick up. Jesus is preaching to this group of religious leaders and people from the city, and the Pharisees come in and they throw this lady into the middle of his message, and they say, she was just caught in adultery. What should we do, Jesus? And Jesus is in this really bad spot because it's a lose-lose situation for him. And the Pharisees thought, this is finally the time that we're going to get, that Jesus is going to say the wrong thing. Because the Pharisees were saying, hey, it's law that we take these stones and we stone her to death because she's been caught in this sin. So the blood of this lady was going to be on Jesus's hands. Or they thought that Jesus was going to say, no, 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 don't stone her. And that would make sure that he is not following the law. And so either way, it was going to be a very difficult situation. And as you read, you're going to see how Jesus responds to this hostile crowd. And if you can imagine, all of these people are just looking around to find these stones because this woman was going to die right here in that moment. The cool thing about this story, though, is the woman doesn't end up dying, and you're going to read that. But Jesus was there at her worst moment, and he was standing next to her. And Jesus says, those who haven't sinned, go ahead and throw the first rock. And as all of the people start to leave, the oldest people first, and then it goes to youngest, it's just her and Jesus standing there. And I think so often when we're caught up in our sin, we feel like we're super distant from God and that God couldn't love us and God would be mad at us. And that's not the case. You're going to see that in this story. I think the difficult part about this story is that we live in a life that is full of social media and us trying to put our best foot forward. Like you might go to a camera shoot or get some pictures done as a family or at a wedding and you're going to see that they take tons of pictures and you might only use a few because you want those to be the best foot forward. And so everything that we're looking at on social media or at work or when we're getting ready to go somewhere, we're putting our best foot forward. And I think in this story, we can easily find ourselves standing with mercy in Jesus and our sin and his love for us. But we can also quickly go to the other side of the crew and the crowd. And we can be picking up our rocks and we can be looking at social media and we can be looking at other people's stories. And we can be saying, look at your life of sin. Look at all of the mistakes you're making. And we can easily be holding this rock in our hand and we can be casting judgment on others. So as you read today, as you think through this story, I want you to think and ask for eyes to see. Not eyes from Nate or from yourself, but eyes of Jesus. What would Jesus do in this situation? How would he love? How would he react? Ask for sl- to be slow to anger and ask to slow to judge and to love as Jesus loved. It can be a challenging thing because we can feel so great one moment and we can judge so quickly the next. But Jesus came to love others in the worst part of their life. And so I'd ask you, are you standing next to Jesus and this woman caught in her sin? Or are you standing in the crowd with your stone? Take some time to reflect today and see where you are easily caught in those traps of holding the rock and casting judgment on others. Know that we love you guys and we are encouraged that you're spending time with God.